hi everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to make this tea that will help to melt that stubborn belly fat i know most of us we are suffering from that belly fat that refuses to melt because we have tried several things but this belly fat refuses to melt i have come with this tea this combination of these ingredients in this tea will help to melt those stubborn belly fat because they are just natural things that you can find comfortably in your kitchen or within you so to begin the cooking i'm going to be adding some water here my first cup of water i'm going to be adding two glasses of water this is the second glass when you boil your water the ones that will evaporate will evaporate and you'll be having about one and a half cup from this or even one cup so the first ingredient i'm going to be adding here is cumin seed we all know what cumin is and this is the seed i'm going to be using one tablespoon of cumin seed if you don't have the seed you can use the powder any one you have will be okay but if you have the seed the seed is much more better because the seed still has all the ingredients in it you know when you blend some of all these things they lose their natural strength because they continue to evaporate anytime you open it and close it's better to use it when it is still seed like this so i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of cumin seed to the water cumin seed helps to improve metabolism that will help you to burn those excess belly fat and it also helps to reduce your insulin resistance and it is a remedy for constipation being bloated or not being able to have a very steady bowel movement also contributes to belly fat but if you drink this tea it will help you to be visiting the toilet you know having a very regular bowel movement which will help you to reduce the belly fat because there are some fat that's supposed to go out through those bowel movement but because you don't do it all the time you are having that belly fat so this cumin seed will help you to have a very regular bowel movement so as to reduce yourself from being constipated so that is our first ingredient it has a lot of other benefits apart from losing belly fat it helps to control your sugar level it is a very good spice and it also adds flavor to your food if you use it to cook i use the blended one to cook it tastes so good so so after adding this the next one we have here is coriander this is coriander seed and for the coriander seed i'm going to be also using one tablespoon of coriander seed coriander seed you can find it where they sell herbs where they sell spices that's where you can find it so this is the coriander seed there is coriander leaf and this is the seed so the seed is what we're using today and this is one tablespoon i will add to the saucepan coriander seeds stimulate digestive enzymes which are known to enhance our digestive system coriander seeds are an excellent way to help with belly fat weight loss arm fat uh, leg fat stomach fat whatever name wherever you have your fat coriander seeds are very good in reducing and removing those excess fat on those areas they also boost metabolism so you burn more fat coriander seeds also can help keep your liver kidneys digestive system and bladder in good working order they are the perfect boost to keep your body healthy on the go and help remove toxins coriander seeds can also be used to keep your heart healthy by lowering blood sugar and cholesterol level so coriander seed will not only help you lose belly fat they will also help you with your heart kidneys liver making those organs to stay healthy so after adding the coriander seed 
The next thing I will add is the cinnamon stick. Here I have two cinnamon stick. Cinnamon we know is very good for removing fat from the body. It's very good for weight loss, it's very good for belly fat, it's very good to detox and remove excess fat in the body. And for the cinnamon stick, I'm going to be adding two cinnamon sticks to this. If you don't have the stick, you can use the powder one. And if you're adding the powder one, you can add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. So after adding that, the next thing we have here is ginger. We need to put some spice. You know ginger helps to remove anything on our intestine so that we can have those bowel movement flowing so that they will be going on very well. So I'm going to be adding ginger here and this is the quantity of ginger I'm going to be adding. I'm going to be grating it. If you like, you can cut it, but for this, I'm going to be grating the ginger inside here. Ginger is good for our general health. It does lo lots of things to our body. Ginger is an everyday ingredient. Adding them in different meals, you are going to benefit a lot from ginger. Make it as part of you that you'll be adding ginger to your food it's very very healthy so the tea is coming up so i'm going to cover it and allow the tea to cook for next five minutes that means you're, you're supposed to allow this tea to cook for 10 to 15 minutes after five minutes, I will remove it from the heat and I will allow it to cool off. After it has cooled off, I will be right back to show you other ingredients that we will be adding to this tea. So please keep on watching. So the tea has cooled off somehow. So what you have to do is to measure out the one you're going to be drinking. And this is my cup and a strainer. It smells so good. I like the smell of cinnamon. I don't know if you do. So this is the tea. After stirring it out, what you have to do is to get half of a lemon, and this is half of my lemon. So I'm going to be squeezing it inside the cup. Then you stir it. And you drink. I do drink it like this sometimes, but sometimes if I want to add a little bit of sweetener, I go with honey. So you can add about just a teaspoon of honey to this. You can drink this in the morning. You can drink it in, at night before you go to bed. But if you want a faster result, drink it like this in the morning and also like this before you go to bed that means two times in a day but if you don't want to be drinking it two times in a day you can start with once a day and you know how it reacts to your body or how your body accepts it or how you feel about it drink it morning or bed night time then if your body accepts it good and you like the feeling or the result you're getting you can start drinking it morning and at bedtime do this for five days and you're going to see amazing results this is so good apart from helping you to lose belly fat reduce those excess fats your body is also enjoying it and benefiting from this drink
it tastes good you can drink it like i said without honey if you want honey you add honey or you have any other sweetener but not white sugar so that is what you have to do if you really want to lose belly fat this is a fat burning tea this tea works so well you can also repeat this the next time what you have to do is just to what you have to do is to warm it up there's still some tea in it warm it up or if the tea is not enough add a little water to it again warm it up and you can still drink this before you make another one or if you like you can make it in large quantity that will last for you three days and you can store it in your refrigerator whenever you want to drink it you measure it out warm it and add lemon and honey if you want and you drink this is an amazing tea that i know and i believe many people will like and many people will get amazing result so guys that's what i have come to share with you in today's video if you find this helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you try it and you get amazing results don't forget to share with us on the comment section share this video with friends and families many people will like to have this recipe and try it out and if you're new to this channel you have not yet subscribed please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notification join the community we are happy to have you and please don't forget to come back for more videos thank you and always always remain blessed bye bye for now